Today, I'm going to take you on a journey through time and explore the top 5 highest sold ancient artifacts in the world. That cost more than $230 million to their buyers. These artifacts have not only survived the test of time, but they've also become some of the most valuable treasures in the world. Starting off at number 5, we have the 3,000-year-old stone relief, known as the Assyrian Royal Panel, which symbolizes the power and grandeur of the ancient Assyrian Empire. This masterpiece was created during the reign of King Assurnasirpal II in the 9th century BCE, showcasing intricate carvings of royal figures and divine beings. The relief was sold at a record-breaking price of $31 million, 2018, setting a new auction record for Assyrian art. The buyer was a private collector who wished to remain anonymous. At number 4, the bronze sculpture of Artemis and the Stag, an early Roman imperial or Hellenistic piece created between the 1st century BC and the 1st century AD. The statue features the Greek goddess Artemis, standing on a plinth with a bow and arrow, and her companion, a stag. The sculpture, which stands at 36 and a quarter inches tall, was originally excavated in the 1920s from a construction site in Rome and has been part of the Albright Knox Art Gallery's collection since 1953. In June 2007, the statue was sold at auction for a record-breaking price of $28,600,000, setting the highest sale price for any sculpture at the time. Coming in at number 3, the Codex Lester, a collection of scientific writings by Leonardo da Vinci is a valuable ancient artifact. This leather-bound notebook was published in Florence between 1504 and 1508. It offers a unique glimpse into da Vinci's mind, showcasing his observations and theories on various scientific subjects. The Codex was named after Thomas Koch, Earl of Leicester, who acquired it in 1717. In 1994, Bill Gates bought it for a record-breaking price of $30,200,000. At number 2, the Genel Lioness a 5,000-year-old Mesopotamian statue allegedly found near Baghdad, Iraq, depicting a muscular anthropomorphic leonine human. It sold for $57.2 million at Sotheby's Auction House on December 5, 2007. The sculpture had been acquired by a private collector, Alastair Bradley Martin, in 1948 from the collection of Joseph Brummer and had been on display at the Brooklyn Museum of Art in New York City from that time to its sale in 2007. The limestone sculpture measures just over 3.25 inches tall and is called Genel after the Welsh name for Martin. The name of the collector, the Genel Lioness was created during the Proto-Elamite culture, around 300 to 2800 BC. Before we reveal the number one, write down in the comments the topic in the historical period you want to see in the next videos. The comment with the most likes will be the next video. And finally, at number one, we have the family's old Chinese vase, which sold for a record-breaking $83 million at Bainbridges, a small suburban auction house in London. This 18th century piece, intricately painted with delicate enamel work, was discovered by a woman while clearing out her late sister's home. The vase, which had been in the family for at least the 1930s, was bought by a Chinese bidder on behalf of an undisclosed buyer, setting a new record for a Chinese work of art. 